Hey guys, I'm just gonna talk some shit about the album I just fucking dropped. Admission, my debut solo album. I dropped some shit with uh, Martin in July, uh, Influx. It's pretty dope. I'm gonna go a little bit more into detail about Admission in this one. Let's get it. Porn Star and Let's Have Sex, the intro. And the second song, right? So, I had the idea. First, I wasn't even going to drop Admission, just for some backstory. I was going to have Negligence be my first solo album, and I was going to have a whole bunch of uh, features on that one. But I really wanted to just keep it unrepressed, and I know Fine Ho had Blowfly, but I'll get to that, I guess, in the next topic. But anyway. I just wanted to keep it unrepressed features for this one, but negligence is going to be bumping. But let, let's have sex and porn star. They're just really just me fucking around. I don't know. Uh, porn star, I just had to sample it. Like, come on, BDSM porno interview. What the fuck? Yes, this is going to be my fucking intro. But, uh,. Let's have sex. That beat is actually one of my first beats I ever made. That's why it sounds so, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I actually kept the chorus. That, like, this is, I'm talking two or three year old beat and chorus. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna keep the chorus. Rewrote the verse, uh, everything like that. Re recorded everything, and that's Let's Have Sex as it is today. Pretty much. Kept everything the same for three years, and, <laughs> yeah, two or three years. On to the next one. Fine ho. Damn she a fine ho, I bet she like dick. So I came up with the concept of this song, actually, in summer school. I was supposed to do some science shit, but I was like, no. I just wrote a shit ton of lyrics. I think I also wrote a verse for Hoodlum in summer school in that same class that same day. <clears throat> I think that was, yeah, that was Hoodlum. And, um, the teacher kept fucking looking at me. Because, you know, you, you can, like, the teacher lady can, like, look at your computers. And this is, like, two or, about two years ago. You know, you can look at all the computers. And she saw that I was on Word. And, uh, read what I was saying, and she was pretty, uh, disturbed. But, anyway, Jay Cringe, the homie, he, uh, he's about to actually get out, so we expected some thumping-ass fucking shit from him. He said he's gonna make a badass album, talk to him on the phone. Pretty psyched. Anyway, um, he jumped on it. This is actually the first verse he ever recorded, ever. So, the one on Fino, that's Jay Cringe's first verse. You can kind of tell his voice is, like, not really used to it. But in military, you'll see he kicks it up. But, um, yeah, fucking fine ho. And since Jay Cringe was locked up, if you didn't know, yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. But I wanted to have Blowfly on that, because me and Jake, or, yeah, Jay Cringe, both fucking love Blowfly. So I'm like, you know what would just fucking make him happy as shit is if he was on a song with Blowfly. So, I, was, I had another song planned for Blowfly, but I was like, you know what, I'm gonna have him on Fine Ho, who doesn't want a fucking rockin' 76-year-old dude talking about fucking bitches. Like, that's what I want. That's all I want in a fucking song. Fuck it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, fucking Fine Ho. There you go. So, Breaking Point. This is an interlude that I want to remain kind of cryptic, because this whole album, along with Negligence, my next album that I was talking about earlier, is all like a, you know, To Pimp a Butterfly, it's kind of along those lines. Like, it's not really at all, obviously, about, you know, it's more, it's more of like, I want you guys to figure it out, fuck it, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like that, I'm gonna play that card. Breaking Point really ties all of that together, so, yeah, that's about it.
military. I had this beat. And, you know, you hear the uh, snare drum. The I heard that, and I was like, this is sort of military-esque, you know? The fucking marching-type beat. So I was like, we killing these hoes in some military shit. Okay. Yeah, that's just how that came up. I don't know. Jake hopped on it because I was working. Uh, we were both in the lab together, and... It, like, hey, you want to hop on this? Like, fuck yeah. And we made it. None of us had enough bars to fill our verses, so we just threw two skits in. And it worked out. It's pretty fun. Pretty dope. Yeah. Military. Hoodlum, yes. This beat, like, this is the first really dope beat that I ever really made. Like, this is the long there of, uh, Let's Have Sex, you know? Just, like, three or four years old. Pretty, pretty old beat. For my track record, anyway. But, uh, I just wanted to keep it strictly, like, to the streets. Like, in OKC, I was just crazy. You know what I mean? Uh, I was working on it, and Martin wanted to hop on, so I was like, hell yeah, do your thing. And... I was fucking hoodlum. <clears throat> but, pretty old beat, but I like how it all came together. Martin did a dope job on the chorus, and I appreciate it. Yeah, hoodlum. Don't talk shit. I remember when JMO sent this shit over, we were like, what the fuck? Like, this beat is dope as fuck. Right there, wrote the verse, wrote the chorus. And so did Jack. And fucking... <laughs> it's still the same same verse and chorus. I literally kept it all these years. And uh, that's what you're hearing today. But... Fucking sick job on JMO. Like, dope shit, dude. Many props. But, yeah. Don't talk shit. I like how it came out. Or came together. Dope shit. Don't fuck with us. Yup. That sample, and yeah, that's a fucking sample. That wasn't uh, Martin just repeating, don't, don't, don't fuck with us. You know, that was actually from a remix of, was it All Me by Drake? I think, yeah, I think it was that we never released. We might one day, a vintage tech type album, because we both got a bunch of shit from back then. I think, I'm pretty sure Jack does too. So, hey, that's a possibility. Shit. Could make a little mixtape. Download for free. But, uh... Don't fuck with us. I made that beat a while ago, and... I heard the... Yeah, originally it said, Small Circle, No New Friends, Don't Fuck With Us. And that was the end of the song. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sample that and put it in... A chorus. And it, it, it worked. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Don't fuck with us. We just wanted to show us some uh, unrepressed records pride. And, uh, there you go. F fuck the industry type vibe. Pretty dope. Don't fuck with us. If you didn't know, this song made two or three chorus changes, because... We were gonna make it about a little rap group we were gonna do, but we scrapped that idea. But now it's just about unrepressed, because fucking you are. But, uh, they came together pretty well. Had Jack and Martin on it. Yeah. Sound of, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it uh, came together pretty well. If you didn't know. Get High the Fucking Interlude. Now, this... There's actually a YouTube video of this back in... I think it was my freshman year? Freshman or sophomore year of high school. Some old shit. Of me and Jay Cringe and this girl... Down at the little smoking area... That was next to the uh, high school we went to. I don't want to say anything about it, because, you know, cop, you know. 
Don't want to make that shit hot. But, um... <laughs> we were just... We just rolled a J, and... We were freestyling. I don't know, man. I had, like, long hair at the time. It's a fun... It's, it's a pretty interesting video. And, uh, we just break out into song, singing fucking Twisted, um... So high, there we go, fucking mind, mind fart, brain fart, there you go. But we just broke out into fucking songs, <laughs> singing So High by Twisted, that was one of our favorite smoking songs at the time. And, yeah, just good times all in general, pretty good shit. Get high. I am high the song, I'm not... Saying I'm Blaze, I'm just saying the song name. But originally for this track, I wanted to have it to where it was me, J. Cringe, and Martin. But J. Cringe got locked up and all that shit. So, we just did it, me and him. And it turned out. I mean, I made that beat a while back too. A lot of, most of these are really old beats. Pretty much actually all of these are. But, um... Yeah, that's about it. We just wanted to make a smoking song you can chill and smoke to, and that we did. I am high. Stay high outro. Now that was back when me and Martin were smoking and freestyling, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make this the outro to my album. Because we were gonna make it an interlude or something, but... We just decided not to, but we were pretty blazed, so the freestyling was iffy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that about wraps up the album. If you liked it, subscribe down there. And, uh, in, in the description, you can see my Facebook stuff. Hit up Umber Press Records shit, too. And, yeah, be cool. Uh, Umber Press Records.